there this is Rohan and today I have the Redmi 4A with me first of all sorry for making it too late because of some mic issues which I'm using right now so let's talk about the device we are having the Redmi 4A with me and without wasting any further time let's unbox it first of all I have to open the seal on the device let me cut it off and let me peel it off the hole from the device so just a second yeah, so here we have the redmi 4a box and i hope you could see 4a written on the device uh, like this and on the side of the device you are having redmi 4a on the top you're having mi logo on the sides and the back are same all right so here we have the redmi 4a written on with some basic information and description of the device like the processor the camera and the display which is 5 inch and the camera being 12 megapixels the device so here's the device and let me cut the seal again it is having a, another seal looks like so let me take the device out of the box all right so here is the redmi 4a and let me bring it out okay i think i have to do it this way only and first of all we are having the charger which is just like the normal charger so nothing special here my mi it is not a double charger and we have the USB cable which can be used with the charger as well as with computer to transfer the data in or out of the device and we are also having a SIM ejector so let's talk about the guides and manuals we have the guide in different languages of no use and the instruction also which is of no use for us so let me keep everything aside and move to the device only so here is the device with me and on the back we are having some warnings okay let me peel it off so you can see the device clearly and i hope now you can see it clearly from the back side and it looks promising and very good on the first screen of the device we are having another seal okay let me peel it off here's the device with me and let me first of all show you what else we have on the top we are having the ir blaster on the top and on the side we are having the 3.5 mm jack and on the right side of the device we are having the volume rocker keys volume up and down and the power key as well and on the bottom of the device we are having the charging pin <coughs> and the noise cancellation jack on the left side of the device we are having the sim ejector key i mean so on the back we are having speakers and my branding and on the top we are having the camera and the flashlight so let me first of all eject the sim tray so let me show you how it is let me find the sim key ejector and here i have with me let me put it in and take the sim tray out of the device here it is it was very easy and here we have so basically you can just put two sims here like two micro sims here or one micro sim and one micro sd card but because this device is having 16 gb storage i think mi should have added both two memory cards sorry two sim cards and one memory card slots in the device okay let me turn off the turn on the device and i'll fast forward the video so here i have the device with me and it has been turned on it looks like it is having miui which is two which is in all the mi phones <coughs> so let's first of all move to the settings of the device me figure it out all right here we have the settings of the device let me show you about phones so you can see about the phone and here we can clearly see the device mentions it's android 6.0.1 that is marshmallow okay let me zoom into it so you can see it more clearly and i hope now it's more clear it's running on an miu 8.1 and we are having the storage let me show you the storage how much it is available and it shows 8.5 GB available out of 10.42 GB and out of which okay 1.6 GB has been covered by apps and data okay what else we have we have we are having the i remote application using which you can control your TV and some other things like projector using the infrared feature <coughs> on the top and what else do we have okay just some basic applications like facebook amazon and other applications useful applications utilities basically 
and on the first screen of the device we are having some google applications oh we are having google play store google photos youtube and some other useful google applications okay so this device does not have a fingerprint scanner which redmi 3s prime does have but it costs like nine thousand i think and okay on the settings again we are having the dual apps in which you can run two apps on the same phone like two facebook applications on the one phone and we are also having this app lock feature but it does not run on fingerprint and will have only the pattern okay so i here the device with me and it does not have glowing backlit so it might not be convenient for using in the nights and talking about the device and the build quality it is it is very good and the power key and volume button does feel very good i mean they look promising the device itself looks very promising and the back is really shiny and very great the device is very light and feels great in the hand but first of all i need to use this device with, for like weeks or so to give the final verdict so it must take some time and i will be putting some more videos of redmi 4a so please stay tuned to my channel and if you hit if you like this video please hit the like button to support me i will keep you updating with more devices like this thank you